What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to find that car will understeer or oversteer. So without spending much time, let's start now. So here, this is bicycle model. On right, you can see the meaning of all the notations. I'm assuming that the lateral force FYF is making a small angle theta with the vertical. So here I'm considering that FYF is vertical. While turning, the CG is acted by the centrifugal force, which is given by mu square by r. Now balancing all the forces along y-axis, we get fyf plus fyr equals to mu square by r. a plus b equals 12, that's the wheel base of your car. Now I'm going to take moment about b, we get fyf equals to mu square by r multiplied by b by l. This is our equation 1. And on taking moment about a, we get fyr equals to mu square by r multiplied by a by l. This is our equation 2. Lateral force on the tire is given by Fi equals to C alpha multiplied by alpha, where C alpha is the cornering stiffness and alpha is the slip angle. For the front tire, we can write Fif equals to C alpha F multiplied by alpha F. This is our equation 3. And Fir equals to C alpha R multiplied by alpha R. This is our equation 4. Where C alpha F and C alpha R are the cornering stiffness for front and rear tire respectively. Now from equation 3 and 4, we get the following values of alpha F and alpha R. We know that delta equals to alpha f minus alpha r plus l by r. This is our equation 7. Now putting equation number 1, 2, 5 and 6 in equation 7, we get delta equals to f i f divided by c l 5 minus f i r divided by c l r plus l by r. Okay, now I'm going to put the values of f i f and f i r from equation 1 and 2. So we finally get the value of delta, which is our steering angle. And you can see from the equation that delta is varying with u square by r, which is your speed of vehicle. Now, this is our equation for delta. I'm going to plot the curve between delta and u square by r. So case one is bc alpha r equals to ac alpha f. On putting this in above equation, we get delta equals to l by r. So the curve for case one will be a straight line as delta is constant for the constant value of turning radius at any speed of car. For same turning radius, we have to give the same steering input. Okay, now the case 2 is BC alpha R is greater than AC alpha F. Let this value is K1. Now we can write delta equals to K1 multiplied by U square by R plus L by R. As K1 is greater than 0, the curve will be like this with the slope increasing. You can see from the curve, as the velocity of car is increased, the steering angle is also increased. So, for the same turning radius, at higher velocity, we have to give the highest steering input. Hence, this is understeer. Now, the case 2 is, BC alpha R is less than AC alpha F. So, delta can be written as, delta equals to K1 multiplied by U square by R plus L by R. As K1 is less than 0 here, the curve will be decreasing like this. You can see from the curve, as the velocity of car is increased, the steering angle is decreasing. So, for the same turning radius, at higher velocity, we have to give the less steering input, hence this is oversteer. Now you can see the curve for oversteer is intersecting at point x1. What's happening at point x1? At point x1, the delta is equals to 0, which means no steering input is required for turning and the velocity at this point is called the critical velocity. Now if you increase the velocity beyond x1, delta will be negative which means you have to turn your steering wheel right for turning left and vice versa. So from here we are on the following conclusions that if BC alpha R is greater than AC alpha F then the car will understeer. If BC alpha R is less than AC alpha F then car will oversteer and we have to give the less steering wheel input for the turning at higher speeds. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video hit the like button. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do share the video with your friends and colleagues if you find the video useful. Also, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and softwares, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.